Hi, welcome back. We're working on the geometry regions from this past June 2012 and we're on number six. In the diagram below of line segment ABCD, AC is congruent to BD. Using this information it could be proven that which of the following is true. So, okay, so AC is congruent to BD. So on this, on this line segment they're saying AC, which is this whole thing here, is congruent to BD, which is this whole thing here. So let's see, BC is equal to AB. BC is equal to AB. Well, they look about equal, but there's nothing about the given information here that necessarily means AB will be the same as BC, right? So it's not that. AB is equal to CD. That's going to work, right? AB, just this part, is congruent to CD. How would you prove that? Well, you could say both, the two things they're saying that are equal, they're saying AC is congruent to BD. AC congruent to BD. And both of those contain BC. So you can subtract BC from both of those. AC minus BC would then be congruent to BD minus BC. So why can we do that? We, we don't have to do a formal proof, but we can subtract BC from both sides because that's the uh, subtraction property, right? So what is AC minus BC? It's just AB. And what is BD minus BC? It's just CD. So we just proved that AB is equal to CD. And let's just take a look at the others and make sure they don't fit. AD, the whole length, minus BC, the middle part, equals CD. No, that's not true, right? It would have to be AB plus CD. And AB plus CD, the left plus the right, equals AD. No, that leaves out the middle, so that doesn't make sense. Best choice is two.